If you're looking for a video where you could learn how the PvP works in Pixel Worlds, then this is the video to watch. Hello everybody, hello and welcome to Pixel Worlds. My name is Jake and I am the community manager here at Pixel Worlds headquarters. Welcome. Now, today we're going to talk about our latest update and that is the PvP update. When this video goes live, it's about a few hours before we release it, but if you're watching this later on just to learn about the PvP, then this is the right video for you. Previously, before this update, the only way to kill another player was to actually push him to uh, boss source or spike traps or just to try to uh, place another block on top of them and they would get trapped in that and they would die from it. But now after this you are able to do some damage to another player by hitting them. It's not just that we opened the damage or something like that, we added armors, damage, uh, different elemental damages that you can have in your swords, critical hits and well a lot of stuff so we are going to talk about that today and how this whole thing works and how you can build your unique set choose the damages that you want maybe you want a weapon that has more critical hit damage or you want another one that has um, fire damage or whatever you would like to have in total we have six different elements and of course different items have different elemental protections and you will be able to see these as well but without further ado let's go inside the game and uh, let me show you how this thing works and how you can turn your worlds into great pvp arenas or maybe you want to do a dual worlds or whatever maybe do some tournaments and so let's go inside the game i'm gonna boot my hat headphones headphones on and uh, i'm gonna show you how this actually works. Okay, so like I said, we wanted to create a system that was a little bit more complex. And where you could actually progress, uh, do that daily, get some uh, rewards and stuff. So, first, uh, let's go into the shop. I'm gonna show you, show you guys the items, then we are going to go to the locks. So guys, we brought two different types of uh, battle locks, I would say, PvP locks, the silver one and the golden one. The silver one works quite the same way, like normally uh, something like a large lock would work. Uh, but inside that you can choose that this area is PvP or it is not. The battle world lock, on the other hand, is a lock that you can choose and place that on your world and it will um, unlock the PvP everywhere. But you can choose to have battle locks, like the normal ones, uh, inside that world lock. And that means that you can have like safe zones inside that PvP area. I'm gonna show you how that works exactly. So you can like build uh, safe zones or you can build like battle, battle arenas inside uh, parkour or whatever you would like to do. So without further ado, let's go buy one of these, uh, one of each and let's then let me show you guys how this is going to work. So enables PvP in limited area. Use wrench to access the options like normally in a in a lock of any kind. Otherwise has the same characteristics as normal locks. Alright, so let's choose that one and a battle world log as well. Let's choose that. So if we look at this, enables PvP in the world. But okay, so battle world log. Let's place one down. I'm gonna place it right here. Alright. So now I can choose the wrench and hit the wrench tool and here you can see start battle. So I'm just gonna hit that, of course. I get an, I'm gonna need another player here. I'm gonna use my other account here to um, help demonstrate this. Alright, so I joined with my other account, of course that's the, the Jake. I'm gonna wrench this uh, battle world lock and choose the ch settings. As you can see, it's just like another world lock where you can choose uh, is hitting allowed. Of course, if you want uh, to have a battle on, I suggest you allow hitting. But let's start the battle. Oh, that's a loud sound and here you can see the world kind of changes. On top right here, kills 1, death 0 and KD ratio as well. So, Jake's 1 grumpy grandpa is 0. Now I'm gonna use this battle lock. So I'm gonna place that on top here 
and battle is off. I know it's a little big area as you guys, you guys can see and the battle ends when I am inside here because which is the wrench and wrench that you can see that the battle is not on here. So it's kind of a safe zone so if I walk out of here yes the battle starts and now it goes off. Okay, so now I created a safe zone, so to speak, inside this um, start area. And one thing I wanted to mention is these, let's go to the item packs and then special items and we can choose a death counter. So I'm gonna buy a death counter here, thank you. I'm also going to buy some special packs and uh, let's buy a dash pack because we get some checkpoints from there. So if I choose to have a checkpoint here, so we choose the checkpoint and uh, then we have like um, three deaths. So the battle starts and here we're gonna battle with Jay, come on, hit me! And then I'm gonna choose this other device and I'm gonna hit the grumpy grandpa. So as you guys can see, lives left too. Now of course when I lose all the lives I will be uh, teleported pa back to the uh, entrance area. When you are killing another player here in Pixar Worlds, from here on out you will also gain gems from doing PvP. As you guys can see when I kill uh, Jake with Grumpy Grandpa, you can see on the top right here, first I gained 5, then I've gained 4. It goes down from that, but th this is a great way to get some farm on top of other things, so you don't have to farm uh, all the blocks all the time, so you can do this daily. Another cool thing in these PvP logs is that you can participate in your own PvP because when the PvP is active, you cannot, even yourself, you cannot destroy your blocks that you have in your own world. If you want to do that, of course, you have to go and shut down um, the whole PvP in that area and then you're just able to destroy everything like normally as an owner of that world. Now I wanted to show you guys this battle scoreboard as well. So as you guys saw, uh, when we have the battle on, so let's start the battle here, act, battle active. Uh, this is kind of a battle scoreboard. So if you want to show the scoreboard somewhere else where there is not battle active, then you have to crossbreed these scoreboards yourself and then you can just open them up and you can see that Jake here has zero kills and one death, for example. But uh, let me show you a few of the other cool items that we're going to bring you um, that is going to help you a lot with these PvPs. Battle Gate. So let's place a battle gate there and uh, as you guys can see this is going to lock the area. So I'm gonna start the battle and here we go. So I cannot jump back from that and the only way for me to get back into this area is to die. And if you remember we have set the death counter to 3. But here me and Jake we can just battle around and uh, when your lives are out you will respawn uh, to this safe zone so to speak. And Jake can just go and uh, check out the scoreboard from there, what it looks like. You guys probably can uh, figure out more different ways to actually create cool content and cool worlds with this feature. Now, but like I said to you guys, we also added a different way of doing damage. So, uh, like you saw when I was hitting Jake, your uh, HP bar starts to go down. Well, uh, let's hit here and uh, go to the item info of any weapon in the whole game. We have a totally new item info menu. So uh, complexity, tier, rarity, um, how it's crossbred, not, not crossbreadable this walking cane. But here you can see um, the damage, you can see the critical chance, um, if it has earth damage, if it has air damage, fire damage, water damage, dark or light different armors you will be able to see a kind of different menu uh, because here you can see earth resistance air resistance uh, fire resistance uh, water resistance and uh, well, well you get the point uh, for example in these samurai leg armors I have seven armors so they protect me 
um, a little bit. So when you have like a samurai leg armor, you can have a helmet that has uh, armor and then you can have like chest piece that has armor as well. So it kind of stacks up really nicely and uh, you are so much harder to kill in uh, PvP that uh, normally other people would be. So uh, let's take a look at the executioner's axe for example here. I'm gonna hit the info and here you can see it has a damage of 115 and it has a critical chance of 5%. So let's start the battle, I'm gonna go here and start pounding Jake so you guys will be able to see uh, how the critical chance looks like. 230 damage, so it's double the damage that it would normally do. And so sorry Jake, you had to die for the critical chance! Uh, yeah, that's quite effective if you are uh, asking from me. And personally, this whole update is one of my favorites. There are tons of different weapons that have different damages, tons of armor that have different armor from starting from fire to light to dark to just normal physical damage. And you guys can choose what kind of weapons and armors and what kind of combinations you want to do and I urge you to check them out. In this update we're bringing tons of new blocks and items. Most of the new items and uh, wearables are all crossbreedable. But we also added few into the shop. I'm gonna just show you guys a few ones so wearables for example um, we added rare hair pack 2 so if you really liked the previous rare hair pack where you could get um, cool different types of hair it's limited time once again uh, with a different kind of a new uh, hair types and colors and everything that has never been here in pixel wells before check it out if you're interested in a unique type of hairs and uh, you guys know that we removed the green pixel worlds ranger set so we are now bringing you guys the red pixel worlds ranger set for the next two months so if you really like that one and you would like to have another color of that uh, you can get it right now with these blueprints but like i said almost all new items that we have in this update are cross breedable and um, I'm not gonna tell you all of the new recipes, but maybe I could tell you a few ones. For example here, uh, I showed you guys the battle gate. That can be done from metal platform and dungeon door. Uh, the battle scoreboard can be done from lead sign and red wallpaper. We also wanted to put something extra into the game and uh, it has totally nothing to do with PvP. Totally nothing. Two things actually. That has totally nothing to do with PvP. And first of them is a ham radio. So let me show you guys how this works. So I'm gonna uh, use the branch on the ham radio and here you can see the frequency. So uh, you can choose whatever frequency you want from uh, 87.5 to maximum of um, 108. And uh, for example, let's choose uh, what I had before. So that is 105. All right, let's check out this one. This one has the 105 as well. And these can be anywhere, like different worlds, all over, wherever, and anybody can listen in. So whoever has the right frequency can listen in what is happening. So I can just type in here, hello, Jake. Hello, Jake. And each one of these radios that have the same frequency will get the message. With uh, Jake right here, I can just type uh, hey, 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 and just hit broadcast and it will show up here as you guys can see. So those can be anywhere. So you can have your private frequency. Do a radio broadcast if you want or anything else. So let's talk about another feature that has nothing to do with PvP that we also wanted to add and it is the fossils. So these are the fossils. These can drop from sand, from sandstone for example and from other blocks as well. Um, you can also gain like uh, bone dust that you can then combine. And uh, let's do that. I'm going to restore this fossil. So I'm gonna restore that. Here it goes. Fossil puzzle. Uh, rebuild the puzzle to obtain a rare fossil piece. So let's get started that. It will consume the block. So let's start it up. 
and our our job is to um, get these blocks into the correct spot. So let's do that. Oh, wait a minute. How does this go? Uh, one minute time to complete this puzzle. So... Okay, that is in the right place, but that is not. I'm supposed to get this one. All right. So... Like here. Oh, quickly, quickly. Oh, wait. Wait, how did I... What? What? What is happening? No, I failed it, but here we go, out of time, fossil ruins, so uh, claim bone dust. Alright, so I'm gonna claim that bone dust, let's do that again, so I'm gonna restore that and start. And now we finally get it, so click here, and yes, you found T-Rex Fossil Part 9. And uh, there are different parts and different um, um, bones that you can find, but here, for example, we could just place that onto the ground and you will be able to see. Oh, one part of T-Rex Fossil is ready, and you can collect these whole pieces from these fossils and um, you get bone dust as well from different blocks and you can just uh, try to convert them uh, into fossils when you have 100 of those. So it will be quite interesting to see um, you guys building these fossils for yourself. Now, okay, so one more thing before I go, because this is quite a big deal for the coal economy here in Pixar Worlds, and it is that you can from now on, you can dismantle a world lock. So previously you could just turn uh, 100 world locks into a platinum lock. But now you will be able to put the world lock into 100 pieces of uh, world lock token. So let me show you guys. We can dismantle 1 to 100 pieces. If you want to trade like smaller items that are not worth one word lock, but you would still, uh, you would want to have a currency of some sorts to work with that. So from now on, you will be able to have that. So if you got 100 of these, you can just convert that into one word lock and so forth and so forth. There's a lot to explore with the PvP, and I suggest you will go check it out. Remember that you get XP and gems from doing PvP, so it is quite useful if you just want to do some other way to uh, earn gems instead of just like normal farming and doing daily quests. We want to totally do this. There are new achievements, uh, new quests in the quest system, doing some PvP stuff, these fossils and everything. We also had mini jade competition this Tuesday and the winners can be seen from our Instagram the link is down below in the description go check it out who won the t-shirts these whoa, these cool t-shirts pixel Wells t-shirts uh, check them out who won them in our Instagram the winners will get a private message directly from me and I will get the contact information and everything so I can send them to you guys remember hit that sub and like button tell me guys what you like about this update what do you think about this now have you seen it and if you have tried it in the game tell me in the comments below what is your favorite thing about this update maybe it's the PvP or maybe it's searching for those fossils or well, I don't know, maybe trading with these new lock tokens. Thank you guys for being here today, and I'll see you in Pixel Worlds.